back to my channel. Um, first things first, I apologize for being gone for so freaking long. I've just been dying busy and you guys know that and thank you so much for all of your sweet messages and just encouragement to keep going and doing what I'm doing and I'm finally, finally finding my, my little spot in life where things are just kind of evening out for me and um, I'm not working as much as I was so I have some time to just kind of be and meditate and like do my thing. <laughs> but anyway, I am back and I promise I won't be leaving like that again. Um, I have a lot of really, really amazing things planned for you guys, so I'm so excited to share everything with you. But um, today's video is going to be on um, how I've kind of transformed my like meditation and sacred space since I moved. Um, as you know, in my old room, I had a whole entire dresser that was just dedicated to like my altar space, um, and I don't really have a dresser like that in my room here. So um, my little area is a lot smaller than it was back at my parents house and I think it would be kind of cool for you guys to see how I went from such a big space to literally one table um, so yeah that's what this video is going to be on but um, I did want to throw in a couple updates before I got into the actual video itself so if you um, don't want to hear the update I'll put a timestamp for when the video actually starts either on the screen or in the description below um, but what I wanted to share with you guys was the big change that just happened. It may not seem big to you, but it's big to me because it took a lot of like just courage to do it. Um, I've been kind of contemplating on this for quite some time now and I finally, finally thank you to Margie for giving me the final like kick in the butt to do this. As you guys probably know, I had two separate Instagram accounts. One was my Taya Marie account for my personal stuff. And one was Tay Luna for like my channel things and my Etsy store. Sorry, there's hair in my face. Um, and just my art and like online business life. And uh, the reason that I separated the two was honestly because I was very embarrassed about everything that was going on and like me being on the internet and stuff. Like I didn't, I wasn't ready for everyone to kind of know that. Um, but as I'm launching all these projects that I'm going to tell you about soon and doing all these things with Margie and just really, really getting myself out there, the only way to continue to grow is to just let it all out and be honest with everyone and be like, this is what I'm doing and it's awesome and it's so much fun and I don't really care what people think. So anyway, what I did was I pretty much transferred everything from my old Tay Luna account over to my main Instagram account and I changed my title handles. So my main and my only Instagram account now is at Tayluna and it's not the old one that you guys were following before. So make sure you guys look up the new account and follow it. I just posted the logo for all of my followers to see and I'm super super excited about everything that's gonna happen now. I'm almost at 2,000 followers so I'm so excited. I also changed all of my other handles like Twitter and everything, my Facebook over to Tay Luna as well, so make sure to go ahead and follow those. I'll leave all the updated links in the description, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, I know I was confusing a lot of you the other day when I posted that little update video because I was having issues, but it's all changed now, but it's a new Tay Luna account. It's not the old one, so go follow the new one. Um, it's still spelled the same, I just changed the handle, so yes. <laughs> that's that. That's all I wanted to say. And now let's just hop into the video. And yeah. <laughs> Alright loves, so this is what the space looks like right now. And as you can tell, it's extremely different from what I had before. Um, I have this tiny little um, table that I actually picked up from the Goodwill for like $7. And this is what I'm using right now is my space. And right here I have some pillows, so um, I'll kind of set up shop right here and do my meditation. Yeah, so this is what the space looks like right now. So I guess we'll start back there. Um, back there I have some um, herbs. I have like lavender, sage, cinnamon sticks, um, Palo Santo, all that stuff back there to kind of cleanse. I just keep it back there, but it's always there. It's easily accessible. And then you can see I have these two beautiful candlesticks. This one is a gorgeous sun. 
and then I have this beautiful star right here and they're just holding these two vanilla candles um, I didn't have any of those like skinny ones left at my house when I moved so I just have these up here for now to the left over here I have this card deck that I'm actually borrowing from Margie and it's like so amazing I need to go buy one of like on my own this is called the fountain tarot deck and you can see it just creates rainbows like crazy when the sun shines on it it's beautiful um, yeah, the art on this is just amazing. You guys need to totally go check it out. Next to that, I have my wonderful diffuser that I use at night. I have this essential oil mix that I just drip into it um, before I go to bed at night. It's perfect, it works so well, and it literally puts me right to sleep. So I absolutely love that. In front of that, I have this gorgeous citrine candle holder. I actually got this bad boy from Home Goods, I believe. It's beautiful. I love it so much. So I just have a little tea light hanging out in there. Over here I have my Himalayan salt lamp. And I just have another tea light in there as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The huge. <laughs> in front of that I have my enchanted crystal grid. I'm um, just hanging out on the bottom here. I think it looks super pretty instead of just having like a bare table. So I have that. I don't typically use it for gridding, but I don't know. I just think it's pretty to keep there. And then on top of that, I have one of the cards that I pulled from that deck recently. So whenever I do pull cards in the morning or at night or anything, I'll leave them on my little altar space um, and just kind of meditate with them. And right next to that, I have my gorgeous amethyst piece that I got from a crystal show here in Sarasota. And I just adore it. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Behind here, I have this little bag of herbs that I got from Jessica. So she put opalite in the bag. I actually keep my opalite on my desk, but the bag is full with really pretty herbs and flower pieces. I like to keep this on my altar. I think it's really pretty and it just reminds me of her. I love it. <laughs> so that's really it for my, um, my little sacred space over here, you guys. It's obviously a lot smaller than the one that you're used to. I love it. It serves its purpose just beautifully. And um, I actually watched somebody on YouTube who does these same sacred space videos on a very small table. I believe her name is Arielle Wickman, so I'll leave her link in the description down below. Um, she does monthly decorating videos, and I might do something similar to that if you guys like them. But go check out her channel and check out her space. It's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so that's what that looks like. And then... Um, I have my pillows and another blanket over here, so when I want to do my meditations, I have some comfy pillows to work with. And this is the only, the only dream catchers I really have on my wall right now, so I'm trying to fill up this wall with dream catchers. And um, I'll probably use this wall for like spiritual quotes and different things and put that all up and down it. So if you guys ever send me something like that or send me dream catchers, this is where they'll they'll be living. <laughs> well, I hope you guys loved the video. Thank you so much for watching and for just being awesome. And I love you guys more than you know. To the moon and back many times. And um, just stay tuned for all of the projects that are coming up. I'm going to be working on a project with Margie soon too. We're going to be making videos together. So if you haven't subscribed to Margie, go subscribe to her. If you guys don't know, um, she owns the studio that I work at and she's just a big ball of light and a huge just beautiful unicorn. I love her to pieces. So make sure you guys go follow her. And um, why does hair keep flying into my mouth? I just don't understand. Gross. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video and leave some requests down there for what you want to see because I just want to know. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.